I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, given an array of integers, we turn indices of two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. You may assume each input would have exactly one solution, and you may not use the same element twice. Okay. Uh, uh, I think this is one of those things where um, let's return size, right? Is that matter? It should return two, right? Okay, I'm just gonna use five ones. That's confusing. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, this is a pretty textbook e question. Uh, the, just you know, the the really really uh, uh, naive solution is to use n square, uh, which is you know for i from zero to k, uh, zero to n. From j, you go to i to n or something like that, right? Or i plus one if you want to. Precise, uh, and you know that one's an obviously quadratic time, and that's depending on the input. Maybe that's okay. You have to learn, look at the constraints. Uh, if you do this on interview, obviously people would be like, "Okay, well, uh, uh, can you do it better?" Because that's a very reasonable que question to ask. And uh, and to be frank, the 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 can, the better part, uh, the slightly better solution is kind of uh, um, uh Kind of things that you should know, right? Which is just using a hash table and look up, uh, 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 look up whether the opposite is, you know, the complementary, uh, the complement, the complement of the number, uh, uh, is there uh, with the offset of the target, uh, and that takes linear time because you have linear time processing it into a set, and then all one for each of the set, and then do it again, assuming uh, they're not uh, uh, same one. Uh, I mean, the only kind of maybe a little bit more tricky thing here is they also don't tell you whether they reuse the same uh, element twice, so you just have to be slightly more careful. Um, but I think that that should be okay. Uh, and for that reason, I'm just going to use the dictionary. Uh, okay, cool. And uh, that's mostly it, right? Um, for um, mm -hmm. that one, maybe I want to know way with indices just in case. Same element. Uh. When they say the same element, do they mean the same indices, or there's a little bit of mind reading? Uh, like you can have, like when they say element, uh, uh, no, you could interpret that as the index, or or the the uh, the value that represents that index. I'm just gonna go lazy, actually. Screw it. Uh, and if I'm wrong, I'll just rewrite it. Um, uh, okay. Uh, once again, um, if t contains key, maybe maybe just contains uh, x. Uh, return. Oh well, I guess I should have. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, uh, okay, because you have to return the indices instead of just. Uh, man, okay, fine. The uh, uh. that should is with some like weird gotcha, and then I'm gonna be sad. I think this should never happen anyway. This part, I mean, but. Hmm. Oh, I was using maybe set notations. I don't even know if I was correct in set. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Maybe that was go.
Cool. Uh, I'm going to submit it. Not, uh, yeah, okay, let me just test actually one more. Uh, let's say two, two. Is that right? Would that give me a wrong answer? I mean, it probably would, but yeah, hmm, actually kind of surprised. But uh, <laughs> I guess that's why it works, but it's still a little weird. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, well, hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, see, that's the... F uh, well, actually, I just didn't check it, but... I have no excuses for that one. I was going to say something, but... Because huh. that is something that I did say I was going to check, but then I didn't. <laughs> uh... Might as well check it for free. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, it just it's straightforward. I think some of it is just depends on how there is some maybe ambiguity on how to uh, interpret some of these, but I think it's okay. I mean, I immediately didn't make the silly mistake that I said I called myself out to do, and I forgot sadness but uh but otherwise um as part of um as an interview i think this is uh probably too textbooky too easy for uh, a full interview question uh i think uh that said uh th this could easily be like the first pre-processing step to a harder question uh i don't know maybe like yeah, I'm, I'm not creative enough right now but maybe like a threesome and you need to three sum and you need to uh, 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 run this pre processing step so that you know makes the later part of the uh, problem one in uh, 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 in you know in, in good time uh, but I think by itself it's probably uh, a little bit too easy uh, and expected already uh, but yeah but I would definitely you know you, you should know uh, uh, how to solve this problem for sure otherwise uh, Things will be a little 